Welcome back everyone to Nikki Loves Books. Nikki here and we have a bookish box to unbox. So this should be the Young Adult December 2023 bookish box. So yes, we're in April. Bookish box is mailing out the December boxes. So it sort of feels like they're catching up. Like it's better than being six months behind. They're only like four months behind. So we will see if they end up catching up by the end of this year. I still think it might be a little difficult for them because they'll push out a few boxes and then all of a sudden it's like everything comes to a pause again. Hopefully it happens because it would really be nice to get our bookish boxes the month that we actually pay for it. Let's go ahead and get into our box. Jumping right into our newsletter, we have the usual welcome to bookish box, skipping right over that. Then it gives us information about the old items in our young adult box, which of course I will be reading off of those once I reveal each item in our unboxing video. Then it does go into the adult December box because it's one newsletter for both boxes. We're gonna skip right over that also because we'll be going over that once we get our adult box, which I believe is the next box I will be getting. Then into the more fun things, we do have a crossword puzzle, which will give us a sneak peek into the next bookish box, which is the January box, not the May box. They showcase some of the items in the shop and then also give us a Spotify playlist, which is typically inspired by the books of the month and it's both books. So they don't do, unfortunately, a different playlist for the young adult and then the adult. It's one playlist for both, which I think is a little bit lazy. Then they did showcase some of the customer service team and let us know what their favorite Lux bookish box editions were. And last but not least, we have information about their social media. That is it for the newsletter, but we do need a reminder of the theme this month. And our theme for our young adult December 2023 bookish box is book stores and libraries. Literally, I would love to just have my house be a library. I think that would be super cool. And our first item says Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies Inspired Reading Planner. So here's our reading planner. Stay on track with your reading goals with this beautiful reading planner inspired by Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies by Heather Fawcett, designed by At The Bookish Box. I do love the quote on the bottom that says, one doesn't need magic if one knows enough stories. And the cover is cute. It is just a plain back cover, which is totally fine. But what I'm most concerned about is how thin it is. Like there's not a lot. So let's see what they have. So they have monthly planner. So it looks like 12 pages of monthly planner and they were smart that they left it blank because obviously this did not arrive in December. So it's smart that they did blank one so that we could start it whenever we want. And then we do also have book review pages and that's pretty much the rest of it. It's just book review pages. You can put the title, author, genre, how many pages it was, star rating, and then also spice rating. I do like having those. There are a small area for notes. There's an area for favorite quote and then final thoughts. This will be super helpful for me. I will definitely be using this because I do do book reviews. It's been a minute. Yes, I, I realize, but I do do book review videos. But more importantly, I used to review books on my website and then also on Goodreads. And so having a place to write down my thoughts really, really helps me, especially when it's like currently where I'm really, really behind because I got wrapped up in other projects. So I am looking forward to using this. I just wish that there was more pages that it was just bigger. And I have not read Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies. It is on my TBR. It's just one of those books that I don't own yet and therefore probably won't get to for a while. Next, we have this Elfheim Public Library inspired Tumblr. So here is our cute Elfheim Public Library Tumblr. I do like the artwork. And of course, it does have a silicone lid. However, it doesn't have a sleeve. Obviously, the sleeves do cover the artwork, but ceramics get really really hot so I'm like the sleeves are helpful there's no sleep in here so beware when you use this that you might burn yourself drinking water is crucial to staying up all night to read your favorite book now we made it easier for you with this beautiful tumbler inspired by Elfheim folklore designed by at danasar.art I will be holding on to this and keeping it boxed up and safe because this will be included in one of my giveaways that I do at some point I don't use these type of cups because they're like kind of like travel mugs and I don't travel anywhere because I can't with my disorder. 
Next, we have Bookshops and Bone Dust Inspired Book Storage. Okay, so one of these again, so these things fold out and become a storage. So I'm going to go ahead and fold mine and put it together. And to show you guys, so you have two places that clip, fold it and snap those pieces together and then do it on the other side, obviously. Once it's snapped together on one side, you do want to feed this through the two slots. So you feed in through that one and then you feed back out and then it looks like this. So one side is done, we've got to do the other. So here is our little storage box. And the quote does say, never trust a reader who doesn't have too many books to read. Oh, thank God. I have way too many books to read. And sometimes I get like anxious about it. Like I'm just like, am I going to have all the time to read all the books that I own and all the books that I ordered and they're still coming. So I get a little anxious about it, but I definitely have too many books and I love it. Book storage bin. Never trust a reader who doesn't have too many books to read. Store and display your TBR books in style. This book storage bin is inspired by Bookshops and Bone Dust by Travis Baldry. Designed by At The Bookish Box. So this is the second little storage tote that I've gotten from Bookish Box. And I haven't decided really if I like them or not. Like I kind of like them, but I kind of don't because they're not very sturdy. Like, because they're not sturdy, they can't really be stacked on top of each other. I just hope that this doesn't become like a super big habit of theirs. Like the canvas bags, like they're just like, oh, canvas bag, here's a canvas bag, here's a canvas bag. And I just hope that they don't start doing that with these storage bins because I don't need that many. Next up is our Wonderless window. And I'm so excited because this is going to be our last one. So this was the 2023 like collectible thing that they had a different one for every single month. And I'm so excited because that means once I show off my bookshelves, which I'm hoping to do next week, I can actually show you all my Wonderless windows like displayed on my walls. I'm very excited about this. And here is our Wonderless window. So it is supposed to be Griffin Antiquities. So Wonderless Window, introducing the 12th Wonderless Window to be featured in our young adult box. This month's 2023 collectible Wonderless Window is inspired by Griffin Antiquities, located in Crescent City by Sarah J. Moss, designed by At The Talented at Gabrielle Ragusi. So if you guys remember, we had an art print, I think might have been in the last month box, but it was supposed to be Griffin Antiquities and it was just the door and there was like no character. It was still pretty artwork, but there was nothing really special about it. And I had mentioned that I was like, I wanted our little fire sprite. And she, of course, is featured in this scene, which is brilliant. So can't wait to put this up and finally show you guys. So look out for that once I show off my bookshelves. And of course, I have read Crescent City, but I am still working on the recap for Crescent City 2 for you all. So I have not read book three and I'm not going to until I have that recap video out for y'all. And our last bookish item, of course, is our art print. The Bookish Box January 2024 theme announcement by the talented at Natalie Bernard Art features artwork inspired by Rook and Soren from The Crown of Oaths and Curses by Jay Bree. From The Crown of Oaths and Curses, I do not think I have read, but this art print is very beautiful and I kind of want to check out that book. And finally, the main event, of course, is our book for the month. So our book for our December 2023 Young Adult Bookish Box is Bookshops and Bone Dust by Travis Baldry. Bookshops and Bone Dust by Travis Baldry. When an injury throws a young, battle-hungry orc off her chosen path, she may find that what we need isn't always what we seek. In Bone Shops and Bone Dust, a prequel to Legends and Lattes, New York Times bestseller author Travis Baldry takes us on a journey of high fantasy, first loves, and secondhand books. Viv's career with the notorious mercenary company Rackham's Ravens isn't going as planned. Wounded during the hunt for a powerful necromancer, she's packed off against her will to recuperate in the sleepy beach town of Merck, so far from the action that she worries she'll never be able to return to it. What's a thwarted soldier of fortune to do? Spending her hours at a bookshop in the company of its foul mouthed proprietor is the last thing Viv would have predicted, but it may be both exactly what she needs and the seed of changes she couldn't possibly imagine. Still, adventure isn't all that far away. 
a suspicious traveler in gray, a gnome with a chip on her shoulder, a summer fling, and an improbable number of skeletons prove Merc to be more eventful than Viv could have ever expected. So yes, Bookshop and Bone Dust is the prequel to Legends and Lattes, which I've heard only fantastic things about and I have not read yet. I do know Bookish Box have announced that they are going to be doing a special edition of Legends and Lattes to go along with our special edition of Bookshops and Bone Dust. And I'm very excited because I definitely want to have the matching edition to go with this. So our exclusive edition of Bookshops and Bone Dust does have an author letter inside and of course is signed by the author as well. We have an exclusive dust jacket and it is die cut here, just FYI. We have stenciled edges all the way around, a fully printed hardcover case, as well as illustrated and papers. So I do have a few complaints about our special edition and one is that the stenciled edges kind of don't entirely go well. Like I know it goes well with a the theme it's near the ocean, but it's like, drastic difference between the cover colors and the synth edges and for some reason like I'm not liking that huge difference. The other thing and I'm going to show you guys the cover itself doesn't have a reverse dust jacket and that's totally fine but my problem is the cover itself is extremely flimsy and very delicate and just in taking off the cover I ripped it which I have never ripped any of my special editions. Like I haven't ruined any of my special editions because I'm very, very careful with them. And just taking off the cover to show you guys the hardcover below ended up ripping this. So not really happy about the quality of the cover. I am happy to still, of course, get the special edition, but I've been kind of concerned lately about Bookish Box and what they've been doing to maybe cut corners to cut costs. And I just hope that they do a better job on their future books. Regardless, I am hoping that I have a positive experience with the Legends and Lattes series in general, just because I've heard really good things about it. And I've been curious to check it out. So thanks so much for being here, everyone. Again, my next video should probably be the December Adult 2023 Bookish Box. And then sometime next week, I will be doing a video of showing off my bookshelves. I just added a bookshelf to my library and I reorganized all my bookshelves. So show them off along with all my Wonderless windows. Please be sure to like this video if you want to see me do more unboxings and make sure you're subscribed to join me for all the bookish fun. We're going to have the showing off the bookshelves. I got that recap of Crescent City book two coming out. I will be going back to my book reviews now that my life is a little bit more organized again. And of course we have more unboxings to do together. Thanks so much for being here everyone. I'll catch you next time.